Greetings everyone and welcome back to Wild West Dynasty. Um, I had a bit of a change around. I restarted the game uh, because I think that was the only way I was going to be able to complete that treasure chest quest. It was supposed to have been fixed in the patch but it still wouldn't let me get into the treasure chest. So I restarted the game, came back, did all that and I've now lost the main quest. Uh, if I go to our journal... I've got no active quests. So the story quest appears to have been... Well, it is complete up to this point. Um, they are apparently going to be adding more at a later date. But, I mean, that was quite a short story, in my opinion. Um, again, another reason why I think this shouldn't have been released just yet. Now, I did actually have a reply by the devs um, to a post that I put on Steam. I'm just going to bring this up and hopefully you can see it. Um, my comment was, even after the latest patch, some NPCs still have pink hair, still have floating bushes, sticks and stones. The rifle and the colt seem to switch ammunition between them when they want. Sometimes colt has it, sometimes the rifle does. Still cannot build the stone mine or the woodmill. Because it tell, even if you're in the right area for them, it says module not unlocked. Uh, it's meant to be a dynasty game. Yet I haven't found one female you can interact with, even uh, with even to flirt. You know, you should be able to talk to females in that respect from the very beginning. It's a dynasty game. Uh, a Wild West game with no horses at the start. Apparently, in the very first versions of the early access, before any of the patches... You could talk to somebody called Bart, or his horse was called Bart, I don't know. Um, and you could actually take the horse for a ride, but it might kick you. Uh, that is coming back, the horse. Don't know when. Uh, and I said I even started afresh after the latest patch. I'd played 24 hours plus gameplay, uh, which is now out the window. Uh, and now the storyline quest line has disappeared. Uh, sorry, Toplitz, but in my opinion, this was released to EA too soon. Um, and had a reply from the developers. Uh, now, this person, I've seen them um, posting on quite a few of the, the threads in the discussion section. Uh, when the storyline disappears, it is possible that you have reached its end. After a friend in need, the main story ends for now and more as well as more side quests, will be added. Sorry, you get your story in from the start. I know the Unigos story in Medieval Dynasty changed, but the story was there if you wanted to play through it all at the beginning. Uh, Romance 2, we have something special prepared. Well, yeah, when? <laughs> We've also talked... Uh, we ha have also talked with jack just and he may be willing to yet let you use his horse without having the quest for it just yet so that's the guy that we did i'll have to go back there actually because i haven't been back since i completed the uh opened the, tr the treasure chest because there was no need to speak to him again so we will go and have a chat with him in a minute because we agree there should be a horse in the wild west so one of the next updates will let you take Buck, which I presume is Jack's horse, for a ride. And he won't kick you for it like he did the stranger. Okay. Uh, in general, right now, stability, performance and potential game stoppers take priority. Once this foundation is strong, we will add more content. Now, this is the bit that, to me, says the game was released too early. As for the release, it was either jump or run, and we decided to jump instead of discarding a project we and a lot of you believe in. So, yeah, they, they jumped too early. It has a lot of potential, which I agree with, and we want it to get the chance to live up to that. I think we were on a good way. Also, thanks to all of you. Uh, now, I have replied to that and haven't heard anything back since so actually while we're here uh, go back into the game i'm gonna go over uh where is he he's over behind there somewhere isn't he over in the back 
So we're going to go and talk to Jack just to get. Yeah, it was over the back here. Okay, well, he is still here, luckily. Um, right, no option to ride the horse there. Uh, and right, so no, we can't currently talk to him again and ask him if we can ride his horse. Okay, so I'll see you back at the town. Okay, so here we are again. Um, that still hasn't been fixed, so we still haven't got a sign above the sheriff's office, and there's still no furniture of any kind inside, and you still can't place anything inside. I tried putting a chair in there, um, and <laughs> somehow I managed to put that there, and you can't destroy it. Uh, again, I saw that developer that answered my question, or answered my post, I saw them put on somebody else's post that, yes, you will be able to destroy buildings, but you can't currently yet. Again, it's, you know, if you're going to be building, you, you have to be allowed to destroy stuff. Um, I'm not going to restart again unless there's some sort of game-breaking thing. Uh, so I've got a sheriff. He lives in the house behind the sheriff's office. Uh, I have the general store. I've actually given somebody a job in there but we still can't get in. And again, there is pretty much, uh, apart from a, a chest or something, there's nothing there. Um, these, I mean, unfinished. That is just so unfinished. It, I don't know what they're playing at. Um, this, again, still hanging up in the air. Now, I apologise, but somebody put on one of the previous videos, and I couldn't find it, um, about farming. Uh, to make the field, you've got to have the hoe in your hand. Uh, have I got a hoe on me? Tools, yes. Uh, oh, it's in three, okay. Right, so, to make a field... You have to put the hoe in your hand and then press B. And it brings up fields. But only three sizes of fields. You can't create your own field as big as you want. 2x2, two 3x3, two, 4x4. Three three, four four. These are 4x4 four four fields. <laughs> They're a pain in the backside to line up as well. Um, oh, I don't want to place it there. Cancel. All right, let's go back in again. Four by four. Right, you can see there red posts at the corner, but it doesn't put it square in front of you. It puts it on a diagonal for some stupid reason. So you then got to try and get it round at the right right line that you want. Uh, not sure why we can't place it there. But we could place one there for some reason. But yeah, as you can see, I couldn't get them to line up even. <laughs> and I'm sure they were straighter than that anyway. Uh, right, so once you've done that uh, and clicked your left mouse button, it appears as a 4x4 brown, dark brown patch. Uh, so now we can interact with it and we can plant seeds. Um, there doesn't seem to be any seasons at the moment. Uh, we've got to water that. Right, now we can interact with it. So we'll put some corn... Corn it... Ooh, no, don't do that. Put some corn in there. This one... We'll put some potatoes in. And this one we'll put some beans in. Right, so I do like the way it does that. Now, if you've placed a rabbit trap or a hare trap before, if you place a number of them, you can literally watch them going off and you can see that these have grown already now i don't know at what size you can harvest them but certainly i managed to harvest some that were a lot smaller than the ones you see in taxation and when they're ready to see uh, yeah they're ready to harvest already uh, now i have currently uh, food, Do I, I have eight pumpkins on me, so that should give us another eight, I believe. 
and that's it that's taking a couple of hours and we've got eight there and another eight there so ridiculously fast farming uh, that's ready apparently uh, what have we got there uh, well just corn seeds okay so let's harvest those and see what happens well <laughs> I don't know where they've gone then hmm weird uh, what's what was that it was potatoes wasn't it we've got three potatoes uh, let's click that and click that again in case they haven't yeah, we've got three potatoes. E. So I'm assuming they were ready. And we've still only got three. Oh, no, we've got another eight down there. Right, so... Yeah, stuff harvests really fast. So you could literally... Uh, and that... I can see what it flashed up there, beans-wise. Uh, presumably another eight. So, that's how you farm. And you could feed the 5,000 in a day, easily. Um... This place, I built the pantry, the open pantry. Believe it or not, that is four different ve ve vegetable seeds. Beans, pumpkin, cotton, sorry, not vegetables, uh, and corn. And that's basically all you can put in there, four different things. And they haven't been rendered, and they look identical. Um... Right, so I don't know what to do now. Um, we've obviously got some quests. Oh, also, I went over to Hope. Made a couple of trips over there. Uh, chopped down a whole forest outside the Hermit's Place. Um, brought the logs back in two trips. All the stones that are on the path that lead up to the bridge over to uh, the elevator. Uh, collected all those and this frame rate is going you know, to absolutely tank in a minute um, if I put my right we're on about 60 FPS and down to 10 FPS now I'm currently running 1080p low because uh, I was hoping it was going to at least give us a decent frame rate at night um, right so let's get rid of that and we might as well go and have a sleep because there's no point trying to do anything in the dark. It's just far too jerky for you. So I will have a kip. Oh, also, uh, I've got a, I think it's a bear skin um, that's supposed to be able, well, let's just go and have a look in here. Bear fur. Underneath there, it's a, no, don't want to move it. Bear fur. A very valuable hunting trophy, warm and durable, ideal for clothing, also used as a bed covering. But you can't put it on your bed. Surprise, surprise. Um, had a, one of my trips over to Hope um, to sell a load of stuff and buy a load of stuff. And while we were away, even though we got a sheriff, uh, the town, well, we got a bandit raid message come up now when i got back i'm pretty sure they hadn't taken anything but whether that was just by luck and i need to eat something um oh also yeah we've got potatoes now potatoes replenish hunger by six but if you notice you can't eat them um obviously bean seeds seeds you couldn't eat so let's just have some of these Uh, what else should I have to eat? Pumpkins. We can eat a pumpkin. Um, that'll give us six. Well, that's a good job you can grow food as quickly as you can then. Uh, because we're going to get through our rations in no time. Yeah, so I completely redesigned the town. Uh, we want to have a drink. They're full. That's full again. So yeah, we've got the workshop, uh, the smithy, 
or blacksmiths, uh, a barn, some fields. Haven't built a stable again yet because at the moment, obviously, we haven't got a horse. Put the warehouse behind our house. So I'll probably put the stable there somewhere. But again, we'll do that in daylight. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to sleep for. Really would be nice, actually, if you could choose how long you slept for. Right, okay, well, let's put that away then. Uh, where's our... I've got a hammer. I've got a carpenter's hammer. Carpenter's hammer. You would think you would be able to make more furniture with it. No, exactly the same amount of furniture as if you got the normal hammer. Again, why? Uh, right, I'm going to have to get some sticks and stones in. Uh, I can't remember how many I need. Uh, might only be a couple. Um, or is it logs? I don't know. Can't remember. Right. Uh, put that away. I. Oh, one stick, one stone. Okay. Right. So, can we get a stable in there? Wooden hammer. Okay, build. Two. Build. Alright, um, is that going to be production? No. Yes. I mean, a stable's not really a production building to my mind. Ground to an... Ah, right, okay, let's go bit further over. Yeah, I can't appear to make any fences at the moment. Alright, sorry about somebody banging on a big bass drum. Uh, right, so we want another eight logs. Okay, one stable. Um, Flash Crow did ask me if we can build roads or fences or anything. Certainly haven't seen anything in the menus. Um, no, no, no. Uh, oh, that's the animal thing. Not, not a pantry. Um, rabbit hutch. Well, we'd have to employ somebody there, and I don't know what. You know what? Let's uh, let's build one anyway. We'll put it this side. Um, put it. I hate the way this thing turns round when you move when you change direction. Uh, yeah, let's put it there. Uh, four logs, three boards. And the game. Why aren't you letting me build it then? Oh, thank you. What? Oh, me. See, that's crazy. I built that building and couldn't even complete that one, and my hammer's broken. Um, you know what? I'm going to use my carpenter's hammer. Sod it. Assuming it lets me. No. So what use is the carpenter's hammer then? You can't make any furniture with it. Okay. Uh, what was it? One stick and one stone. Uh, put 
that way. Oh, come on, don't let me... Let me build it from any damn direction. Is that it? Well, it looks finished because it's not green anymore. Um, so, management. Um, city. Oh, actually. Management. No, management. Map. Management. Can we now rename this? No, it still says some city. Uh, no, it still says some city. You can't click in there. Okay, so uh, rabbit hutch. What will they make? No, it's a pantry. It's a rabbit hutch, that one. Right, so somebody would get you rabbit meat and rabbit fur if you put them in there. Okay. Uh, we haven't got any empty people. Um, or spare people. And I'm kind of loath to hire somebody just for that. Uh, villagers don't or townsfolk don't appear to eat anything don't appear to drink anything um so i presume they're going to fix that at some point as well yes you have to provide them with a house i don't believe you need to have uh, a bed in the house for them to to move in as long as there's a house there um i've actually got two doors on this house front and back one there you go medieval dynasty <laughs> um, right, so, well, I don't really know what else to do now. Uh, we could go and try and do some quests over in taxation. Uh, what am I like for weight? Yeah, let's put some stuff away. Okay, so I come over to taxation. Um... As you can see, there's a well there. Now, if you look at the um, compass, top of the screen, you'll see there's what looks like a, a hand pump symbol there. So, not a wind-up well like this one, but the old sort of um, standpipe, we would call it, type of water supply. Now, I don't think... Uh, obviously, we're not near our town. Um... We do have some quests here. Alright, let's go and do a bit of questing then, seeing as there isn't much else to do. Yeah, see, um, their pumpkins get a lot bigger than ours do. Whether that gets you more stuff or not, you've got the only quest, you've got the stone quest. I don't really want to go running around doing that. You know what, we've got nothing else to do. Uh... Hello you, could you pl help me with something please? You look more suited for such a task than me. Okay. Good day sir. What would this task of yours require me to do? Nothing spectacular, spectacular, I must say. It is of academic interest. This area is home to a rare earth, a mineral called redstone. A sandstone known as brownstone. Well, make your mind up, it's either redstone or brownstone. Um... With a strong reddish hue. It is used for building and my employer seeks to acquire some of it. Excuse my impoliteness, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Warp, geologist at the King's Academy in London, entrusted by the American Building Society in Boston to survey this area. I must say I know only a little bit about stones. Fret not, I will give you instructions on where to look and collect samples. But are you interested in doing so? I can offer a small compensation for your assistance. Uh, go on then. Camp me in search for science. Very good. I always had high hopes for today's youth. 
Please take this knapsack to store the rocks. I need some larger ones, so I suggest visiting the formations one after another and returning here with the rocks once collected. The rock formations are a few minutes away from taxation. One to the east, one to the west, and one to the south. Yeah, because they wouldn't be in the same direction, would they? Right, so... Uh, where's he sending us first... Right, four, 441. Mm. Right, I'll see you when I find them, if I do. Right, for those of you familiar with it, that's the abandoned small Red Indian camp near to the Hermit's house, Ed's house. Um, and I managed to get up on the top of this lot of rocks, and as you can see, <laughs> um, yeah. They've been building monolithic uh, concrete walls by the looks of it. Right, so where's this stuff we want? It's over there, okay. And I just literally managed to scale the cliff face by jumping up and down. Or jumping. Uh, right, oh, so there it is. Uh, so that's the only one in the land we could have picked up, right. So where's the next one? 400 odd metres that way. And there's a rabbit. Uh... Yay! Uh, that's a quick way to get a rabbit zombie freak 77. <laughs> uh, rabbit, yeah, okay. Um, where was it? Over that way. Yeah, I went up there to get up on the top there. <laughs> oh, and hopefully on our travels, I'm going to show you something else that I found as well. Grab those while we're here. Oh, so it was over by taxation. So why couldn't it have given us that one first, as that one would have been the closest? Because no doubt we're going to run all the way back here, and then have to go back pretty much the way we've just come. You, you swine. No, I'm not talking to you. Um, in case you give us some quest we don't want to do. Yeah, again, I mean, even this rock here in the town, unfinished. Oh. Really, we got to come back to him each time? You are kidding me. Right. Yeah. Lack of content, so they have you running around like a blue ass fly uh right gathered your rocks thank you my own opponent. right yeah no not interested in that we just want to get this over and done with please um right where are we going 270 meters that way okay well, we found it. Um, an egg stone. Okay. Uh, where is our stones then? Oh, egg shaped stone. That was a big egg. It must have been an ostrich or something. Um, right, so now we've got to go back to him again, haven't we? Right. Now, where was it? Um,. Because we're over here. Right, I'll be back in a second. Okay, well, over there, you can see our town. Um, so, taxation is over behind there somewhere, which means Ed's house is over there somewhere. That one, I think... Is the school teachers 
the one that l loses the children. Anyway, for some reason, I'd come up here because um, I was sort of seeing how high in that I could get, and I found these. They're like um, Indian uh, funeral pyres, for want of a better word. Um, nothing else up here, apart from those. But down here, there's a whole Indian village. It's deserted. Uh, you can't get in any of the tents. Uh, you can't interact with anything. Um, I mean, they've got actually some quite actually. No. Oh, we can. No. Oh, just one loose stick. Okay. Um, they have various bits and pieces, blankets. Uh, looks like some sort of bedroll. Um, skins hanging up to dry and. They have canoes. Now, I know in obviously medieval dynasty, um, they have wagons, but you can't have wagons. So whether we're going to be able to have a canoe of our own at some point, I do not know. But yeah, there's nobody about here. Another one there pegged out to dry. Um, they've got their big campfire here. Yeah, more stuff hanging up to dry. Um, there you go, Flash Crow. See if you can build one of those. <laughs> I know he likes doing his totems. Right, anyway, back to the job in hand. I've got to go back to Hope and give him this eggstone. Okay, Mr. Warp Drive. Up oh, Dr. Marion Warp. Okay. Uh, hello again, Dr. Warp. I'll present you the rocks I found. Yes, of course. Please put them on the table. Okay. I found this odd egg-shaped stone at the site. Well, that's the one we were looking for, surely. That is interesting. Safe to assume that this is one of our fossils, my esteemed colleague, Mr. Smith, despite his outrageous battle with Mr. Green. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Um, okay. Where's the last one then? God, back that way, Thrip. Why couldn't we have gotten both at the same time? Okay, see you soon. Alright, we have a, a southern stone. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it's right at the back of our village. Right, so, see you again. Okay, genius. Uh, what do you got now? Dr. War, I bought you this sample. Uh, right, and done. Okay, um... So that presumably is it. Why is it saying to talk to him again? Uh, welcome back, my young friend. I analysed the samples you brought to me. It looks like the samples from the east and west are subpar quality, whereas the quality from the south formation is excellent. My employer will be delighted to hear that. I suggest, I'll suggest to him that you could be an excellent contractor in case he plans to have the deposit mined. As a token of appreciation for your help, I shall give you this pickaxe so it's in the hands of a young and strong person. Well, certainly don't ask us to go and work for the bloke. Um, Dr. Warp, I thank you so much. New level. Has that unlocked anything, though? Um, skills. Uh, now, I still can't currently... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, no, it was that one, wasn't it? Right, so that's all unlocked, the level 2. But we st although it says it's a level 2, it's actually a level 1 that we can't... Well, I presume it's a level 1 because all these level 2s are unlocked. 
Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right. What are we going to do now? Uh. Any other quest? Yes. Oh, this is the doll quest. Uh, Lizzie, whatever her name is. Right. Hello, Elizabeth Ridge. Hey, little one, everything all right? Nothing is all right. Everything, everything all wrong, all wrong. Everything you say? Really? Uh, yes, yeah. Well, let's start with our names. I'm Dakota. Now, what is most wrong? What do you think? Lizzie, most wrong. I lost my treasure. Your treasure? She's gone. I'm all alone. All... She? I'm getting the feeling... Who is your treasure? She's the best. Everybody is mean, but she isn't. She's the kindest and prettiest and very bestest doll in the whole world. But she's gone and I don't know. I lost her. Uh, we've got multiple answers here. Um, oh, crikey, we've got four. Maybe that's for the best dolls or just for little children. I'm sure you'll find her. Be careful. Don't worry, I'll keep my eyes open as well and I'll return her to you if I see her. Do you remember when you last at, had her? Um, well, that would be the most logical one. I'm going to go for that one. You will? Thank you. Thank you so much. If you find her, you can have my favourite sparkly marble. Even Miss Hood likes it. Um... Right, so Zombie Freak 77, I think that's where you got your sparkly marble from. Uh, right, Rebecca. Excuse me, can I help you? My apologies, ma'am. I'm on a noble errand for a brave little girl. Would that be my daughter by any chance? I told her to stop bothering people. I'm sorry. We moved here not long ago. She has trouble getting used to everything. So do I. No harm done, and I'm happy to help. Well, thank you, but don't worry. I'm sure that ugly little rag will show up again. Oh, Carmen, your daughter's favourite toy, and you call it an ugly little rag. Okay. Mind if I look around? Feel free. Okay. Uh, indicator saying right. That's not a doll. That's a scarf. Okay, ten minutes to the left. You again, Rebecca? Okay. You lost something? What? Oh no, this this isn't one of ours, but the neighbour children were here earlier. They might still be around. I'll have a look around. Uh, Twelve metres to the left. And over there. Uh, Amy Smem S Semmelton. Okay, might this be yours, young lady? Who? Oh, you scared me. Don't sneak up on others. Miss Hood says that isn't nice. You seem distracted and a little nervous. So? <laughs> Looks like she's guilty or something. Uh, don't worry, I just wanted to return the scarf. Here, take care. Thieves usually are. Really? Bit of an accusation? You know that one of your friends lost her doll. She's very upset right now. She's not my friend. Ah, but you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, and she's not my friend. But she could be if you help us. I don't want her as a friend anymore. Now why is that? Try to, but she only plays with the stupid doll. Now it's gone, because it's stupid. Maybe if you help me find it, you could play with it together. She just moved here, right? She doesn't know you, but if you help me, she knows that you're a good friend. Um. Okay, go for that one. Hmm, we threw it up on the big roof over there. I didn't want to make her sad. Just, I'm sorry. Uh, big, oh, up there. Yes. Uh, treasure doll, pick up. So now who do we have to talk to her again, by the looks of it? Okay. See who I rescued. I think you should be the one who returns her. 
I will, yes, I will. I will apologise too. Thank you. Here, you wear it now. Wear what? She's just given us a, that scarf or something. Clothing. No. Right, so we got given something, but we didn't get given something. Well, I suppose that uh, makes sense with the rest of the game. Um, right, so we've got to speak to Lizzie again. Okay. You look happy. I am. I have a friend. I was wrong. Not everybody is mean here, and I have my treasure back. Thank you so much for your help. You are the very best. Strangers can be rough, but once you get to know somebody, you might find a friend. Here, this is my favourite marble. It sparkles in the sunlight, and it's a lucky charm too. It brought you, and you brought treasure back. Um, only two answers. That That is gold. I cannot accept that, and you take good care not to lose it. It might turn out useful when you're older. Um... No, nah, let's let's grab it. <laughs> okay, so we got that, whatever it is. A gold mark a minute. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Well. And it don't weigh anything. Um Okay. Well I hope we can find a few more of those. Right, so that is the only right they were the only two quests over here um i thought i saw a yellow icon over there um and now stupidly we can't talk to anybody uh except traders i mean she says hello stranger but you can't talk to her she doesn't say anything only seems to be the people walking around that actually have any kind of yeah, hello stranger. Hello stranger. That's all they all say. Hmm. Okay, well I'm going to call it an episode then. Hopefully, by the next time um, I do a recording, we'll have some more content. Uh, can't really build anything else at the moment. So yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, by all means, leave a dislike. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, drop them down below. And if you're not already subscribed, love to have you join the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.